Italian with Potomac Beans. Join me as I create this Coastal Tide necklace featuring our September kit box. This is my colors and I love the flow of it. You're going to be doing some peyote stitch and basic stringing with a little fringe. If you want to check out the subscription box or want to get the details of what's in the necklace, go ahead and look in the description that's below the video. We'll put links there for you. Gather up your supplies and let's get started. So to begin our design, we are going to start with a bunch of stringing. We're gonna be stringing a pattern whether or not you use your rondelles or your tubes, your little um, angel wings that look like little flower cups or your drops. We're going to be creating basically some long pieces that are going to go over your head and we're gonna bring them together with our peyote stitch tube. So the big thing to realize when you're doing this and getting started is that you need a spot for your peyote tube to go around. So I'm gonna recommend that you have portions in both of your, or all three, however many you wanna do, necklace sections that you have at least 20 seed beads that are on both sides equally so then your fringe can hang down from there. I'm doing a simple one right now where I have four millimeter bicones and 20 of my seed beads here. And again, you want to make sure that they're long enough to go over your neck, so mine are about 24 inches. And you're going to pick up an additional amount of beads. So again, remember, I was doing a total of 20 beads. So I'm going to pick up 10 more here. And then I'm going to get ready to do my um, little fringe and hang down, and I'll show you how to do that. So once your 20 beads are on, you're gonna let them drop down. You can do bigger beads. You don't have to do as many small beads, completely up to you. And what I'm going to do is make basically a couple branches or some fringe hanging down. So this one here I branched off and did two. This one I did one, and I am using the dragon thread. On the other side, I just have a stop bead that eventually will come off my project and I'll make some drops from there as well. You wanna make sure your multiple strands that you're doing are equal in length also so it hangs correctly as you're wearing it. What I'm going to do here with my beads is create a little bit of that florally look using the little pumpkin there. I'll use another one of these underneath. Then I'll do two of my drops with them facing kind of up there, or two of my angel wings rather, with them facing up there. And see how it kind of gives you a little bit of a florally look. One, two, and three of my 11 OC beads. And then my leaf drop. You can also just do a little pico trim if you don't want the leaf drop at the bottom three more, and then back up into the design. So I know in my head that up there is going to be covered with my peyote tube. So the easiest way to go back in, if you wanna do some fringe, is to go back into that area where you know is going to be covered by the peyote stitch, and just reverse your thread and bring it back down. So it's gonna show on the outside of that 11 OC bead. I'm not gonna worry about that. Extra little show bringing it down and I'll pick somewhere for it to come out of and right about there and I'll do another drop here. Picking up more seed beads and then adding in more of that drop, whether or not you wanna go with an additional crystal at the bottom here, changing it up. I'll do a little crystal, then I'll do my little pumpkin bead, then an 11-0 and then my leaves. So you can see this one's gonna hang a little bit shorter. And then another one of my 11s, actually another three 11s here. And then once again, a drop. If you don't want the drop of three C beads and then back up through the beads, we'll give you that little Pico trim. I like that little aqua color at the bottom of these like lilies that we're creating here. Go back up through the beads then, back up through that fringe. You don't have to do multiple layers of fringe, that's completely up to you. Once you have your pieces that you want as far as the necklace portion or that kind of bolo look that we're doing, what you wanna do then is you want to tie off your thread ends. So here I'm gonna tie off the thread end along the bottom. I'm going to simply take the thread around the bead up near that crystal. I'm going to go through the loop that I've created one time, and then I'm going to go through the loop another time. 
give a nice tight pull, and then burn down that thread edge. If you want to, you can go ahead and take the thread the whole way along the project, back to the starter side, and tie those two thread ends together. I'm gonna go over now to my starter side and do one more branch, just like I did on this one here. One on one, two on the other, and then as we bring them together along that section of 20 there, you can see we've got a lot hanging down coming off the bottom of our design. Once you have your necklace cords done and all the fringe there at the bottom, it's time to do your peyote stitch too. So, um, same thing, I'm gonna go in here and use one of my beads Actually, I'll use a bead that's not part of the project there for my stop bead. Going in and taking it down towards the end of my thread, going through it once and twice, and eventually we'll take this off the project. We wanna do an even count peyote, and I know that I have 10 C beads long on the tubes here, or 20 rather. So I don't wanna to go too long, but I wanna go an even number. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. We're gonna do 12 long. So this is gonna be our connector, 12 beads long. You can go longer, shorter, it's completely up to you. What I'm going to do now is start our peyote stitch. The peyote stitch is going to be done on the flat and then we're gonna round it out into the tube. We have one bead on, which would be number bead number 13, and we are going to skip over bead number 12 and we are going to sew through bead number 11 toward the stop bead and not throw your project. From here then, we're gonna add bead number 14, skip the next bead in line, and sew through the next one there. You're gonna see this series basically of a brick wall look where every other bead has one, two, one, two, adding a bead, skipping over the next one in line. Because we started out with a total of 12 beads, each time we add beads now for each row, we're gonna be adding six beads at a time. Your initial strand of peyote stitch gets added that you have both lines one and line two added at the same time. So we started here actually with 12 beads which is rows one and two sewn together. Row three, we just added an additional six beads and you can see it coming out there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're gonna do is reverse the thread. We're coming out of the last bead toward the stop bead. We're gonna add beads and sew through the bead that we just added in row three. So all six of those beads in row three, we'll add a bead and then we'll sew through the next bead. That was bead number five. Add a bead, sew through the next bead, bead number four. You're gonna continue to do this, adding rows to your peyote stitch, and we're gonna get ready to make our tube. Once you have a total of approximately 16 rows of your peyote stitch here, and you can see this would also be a fun way to do a mixed media bracelet or some um, freeform. What you're gonna do is join all your strands together. So I ended up with two strands for my lariat here. And what that means is I'm going to go in and I am going to wrap around those four strands. If you wanna do more like six or so, you can totally wrap around those six as well. What I'm going to do is go to my portion where I have my groupings here of my 20 beads. So I'm gonna make it that this one hangs about there. That one's gonna hang low right there. I have my four strands here. I'm gonna take my peyote stitch and I'm gonna go underneath those four strands. It's a little bit hard to see because I'm using all the same color, but we're gonna wrap the peyote stitch around those four strands. I have 16 rows. You can do more rows if you want to. I want mine to be in there nice and tight. If you need to do 18 rows or so, you can do so. The odd rows will give me the opportunity, or the even count rather, will give me the opportunity to line up the tubes. I'm coming out of row 16, and I'm going into row number one. I'm gonna come out of row number one there, and I'm gonna sew back over to row 16 to the bead that's sticking up. I'm gonna go back over then to row number one, and we're zigzagging across, pulling these together, and pushing those strands further in. 
You can see how it's going to become a seamless line here. And I haven't pulled super tight because I want to make sure that you can see what's going on with the same colors. It's a little bit difficult. But go in there and see how you have that white thread going back and forth there. Go ahead and pull that together into one seamless band. Going in then here, across to the other side, and just seaming up. Once you are done seaming up that middle, you're going to just simply take off your starter bead or your stop bead and then tie the two thread ends together. If you want to, a little challenge is you can go in and you can decorate the peyote stitch, adding some of your beads to the exterior of the peyote stitch. If you want to, you can add some of your crystals, some of your rondelles, even some of your little um, green angel wing flowers, flower petals. You go in here and you can see it going back and forth. And then once I get to the end here, I'm just going to kind of massage those beads and those strands inside my tube, which will give me an opportunity to seam up the tube. See how I'm just kind of pushing that in there, pulling tight. I don't want to see any of that extra thread. If you're seeing a lot of extra thread, go ahead and add two more rows. I'm moving it all around so it's nice and tight there and I don't see the beginning or the end. Keeping it very, very simple, just take off that stop bead then. Tie these two thread ends together. Right over left, left over right. Burn down your thread edges. You can separate them out if you want to, taking the needle back through. And then you have your little peyote stitch wrapped around the bottom of the necklace. It's so fun to do. You can add more fringe to this if you want to. Such a simple, simple design. And then you're just gonna take it and stick it right over your head and wear it down like the fun lariat that it is. Thanks so much for joining me to create this Coastal Tide necklace. Hopefully you are very inspired by your September kit box. It is my colors, my birthday month, and we're going with the beach theme. As always, if you need any materials or want to check out the subscription boxes, look below the video. In the description there, we'll give you links to check everything out. Don't forget also to subscribe if you haven't yet. We would love for you to stay tuned because we always have more and exciting designs coming. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy.